What's up guys and girls, you're watching Bob's Decline, Lyman Blogger. I've been a Lyman on the east coast of Canada for about 17 years now. Since I started making YouTube videos, I get a ton of direct messages from guys asking for advice. What we're going to be doing here today is I want to go over three topics that I feel are extremely important words of advice for any apprentices out there or Lyman alike. All right, first thing, you're going to want to show that you're interested in the trade and willing to learn. If every time your journeyman steps out of the truck to look over a job, you're slouched over in the passenger seat playing on your phone, he's going to think you simply don't care. The more you show your eagerness to learn, the more others will be willing to teach you. You're going to have to apply this to every aspect of every day. So make sure you involve yourself in any and all job discussions and planning, even if you're only there to listen. When there's downtime, make sure the truck is stocked up and that the tools and equipment are well looked after. My next words of advice is to look after yourself. Now I'm not talking about leaving your brothers behind when something goes bad. What I'm saying is, is to look after your health. Being a lineman is extremely hard on one's body. We're lucky enough nowadays to have all kinds of tools and machinery to help us with this hard work. I want you to take the time to do things properly and use the equipment that you have provided to you. Now there is a balance. Line work is still hard work. You can't be soft. But don't go being a show off and end up ruining your back and shoulders before you even turn 40. Someone told me this when I first started and I wish I had to listen a little better. My final piece of advice for linemen is that you must understand the importance of being 100% accurate at all times. This one can be tough, but you're going to have to get used to it because when working on power lines, there's no room for mistakes. When given switching steps, you are to understand them fully. There is no guesswork. If at any point you do not understand something, you are to stop and ask. If you're told to install grounds at pole 587 perhaps, they go exactly on that pole. Not on the next one down because it's easier to reach. Unless of course the plans are evaluated and the whole team is made aware. This is very important in making sure that both you and your coworkers go home with all of your fingers and toes. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. If you're not yet a subscriber and would consider doing so, it would greatly be appreciated and is a great way to support my channel. 